In the years before her career was cut short, the Mexican-American singer Lassa de Sela sold a million records. Many kinds of people fell in love with her music, and especially her voice. Lassa de Sela died after a two-year battle with cancer at the age of 37. Here's NPR's Vince Pearson. Singer Lassa de Sela was a highly emotional singer who performed a wild mix of musical styles. Her music was passionate, fantastical, carnivalesque. Lassa, as she's known, was born in upstate New York in 1972. She grew up in a bohemian family. Her father was Mexican, her mother was American. They spent much of their time like nomads, traveling between the two countries. In a 1998 interview, Lassa told NPR's Jackie Lydon that the family lived in a series of school buses and trailers filled with music and books. My father listened to old Mexican music and old American music too, like oldies. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother listened to gypsy music, Arab music, uh, South American and Mexican. And we started performing very early for each other. Hmm. So by the time I was six years old, I would often be doing shows for my whole family that would go on for hours and hours. And it was kind of our way of entertaining ourselves. In 1997, Lassa released her first record. La Llorona was a dark, sensual album filled with songs in Spanish about love and loss. Critics said it sounded like Edith Piaf with a Latin twist. Again, Lassa de Sela. When I started singing um, and I got up on stage, I... Um, a lot of kind of unexpected things started coming out of me. There was a lot of a lot of sadness and a lot of rage, and those were the songs that I was that I was attracted to singing, and they were the songs that I felt the most when I was on stage. Two other records followed. Lassa sold more than a million copies, and she toured the world. On the side, she fulfilled another longtime dream, joining her sisters in their traveling French circus. Here she is in another interview with NPR's Jackie Lydon. One of my sisters is a contortionist and acrobat, and one of them is a tight wire walker. The conversation must never get boring in your family. Never. <laughs> That's not, boredom is not one of the major problems of my family. Throughout her career, myth and fantasy were major influences. Lassa grew up reading fairy tales and incorporating them into her songs, like Floricanto. Mi corazón sufre y se llena de enojo, solo una vez se nace. I wrote that song with my father, hmm. and uh, he had shown me an Aztec poem. And Aztec poetry is all about this conflict that the heart goes through because of loving life and finding life so beautiful and yet knowing that we are, um, that we are not immortal. That's Lassa de Sela speaking in 1998. Last week, she died of breast cancer at the age of 37. Vince Pearson, NPR News.